Hey guys, this is Justin from Simplify Investing. I hope you guys are all having a great extended weekend. This is our weekly watch this video, highlighting a few stocks we are watching. If you do enjoy, if you could please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right, so for those of you who have watched our previous videos, the first thing I'm going to be doing is breaking down SPY, what we've seen on SPY within the past week, and then what we can expect to see heading into 2024. So getting things started here on Friday, heading into the extended weekend, we had like this doji type bar here at all time highs or near all time highs. Broke this high during the pre-market here. If we do zoom in here on, let's go into the pre-market here. We broke that prior day high here during the pre-market and you can see straight sell off from there. And then we recovered down here around 473.73. But what we see here is, is we failed below this prior day low, nice short opportunity to the downside, but nice buying pressure here, buying this all the way up near the close around 475.31. So for longs here on Tuesday, reminder the market is closed on Monday, longs here watching over this prior day higher, the PDH right around 477. When we zoom out here into the weekly chart, a, a very strong weekly chart, we're still continuing that structure that I talked about last week. What I don't want to see is a move below this weekly candle low around 473.23. So keep that on watch, noting that all-time highs around here at that 480 region, as long as we hold the structure above this low here, expect to see some upside pressure. Now, this isn't as strong of a bullish bar that we've seen in the past how many weeks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. This is definitely the weakest bar that we've had out of those. But nothing of concern until we get a breakdown below here. And what's going to happen then if we do break down below this weekly candle low around 473.34, it's going to form that bear, uh, bearish engulfing. We're going to engulf this candle or at least the bottom half of this candle and could see some selling pressure to the downside. We are, again, pretty, pretty extended here. But shorter term levels here, let's just zoom in. Main ones being prior day high longs over 477, support regions below 472.89, 473.73, and then that 474.72 region here. One thing I also wanted to touch on is the Russell uh, futures here. We're, we're basically trading in this channel, and we closed right at this channel. I actually closed on weakness. What likely happened is a lot of people selling uh, those small caps into the last day of 2023, heading into 2024. So if we break down of this channel below 2042, I'm expecting to see some selling pressure into 2014.50. Just because we've been trading in this channel, every time we trade below this channel, we, we, we immediately reclaim back up. Now this is a failed breakdown here, but really you'd want to see more than just one candle close below this trend line. So watching how this progresses, if we do get some bearishness below this trend line or the lower part of this channel and below 2042, targeting that 2014-50 area some again some weakness here on those small caps which has led the way here as of late heading into the 52 week highs and again this is this is a pretty bearish setup here it would not surprise me to at least see a test down into that 2014-50 area you get this flag you get this breakout bearish bar double uh narrow bar here and then this push lower as for a few stocks we are watching this week, Amazon, we're still in this flag pattern. You can see we, we pushed up on 1218 and we've been in a really tight flag right here ever since. My theory behind this is if we get a failed breakdown here of in this, into this flag, this likely trapped a lot of shorts, right? Everyone's eyeing below this to take short, likely targeting at least sub 150. Trap these shorts, reclaim over this high at 153.86. I do think we trade back up into those 52 week highs. We made that attempt from this three year level here into 154.60. Tried to break, tried to break, break, breakout trap. But if this was truly a strong breakout trap, in my opinion, we would have rolled over and tested a lot lower instead of trading back into that range. So watching this over that prior day high and taking that move up into that 155.63 region. Microsoft, an, another similar setup. And this one's channel bound too, or I should say within this wedge. Higher lows though off of this 12.4 uh, candle, higher low here into 12.15 on volume. And now we're coming up to this key level. The, the key level is 377.22 and, and we need to see that break. I want to see that close, that break and that retest 
for that move higher, at least up into this 380 area where we reject, reject, reject. So eyeing those longs over that 377.22 area for that test up into that 380 zone overhead. Google, another interesting setup here, putting in a potential daily higher low. Reclaiming, or I should say retesting 140. The first candle here over the prior candle high is going to have my interest in this 140 hold. So right now it's sitting right around 140, 144. If we crack below this 140 area, the setup is invalidated. So nice buying pressure, potential daily higher low off of this low from 1220 for that move up into 144.15, eyeing that first daily candle to break that previous daily candle high. And one more here. It's going to be Moderna. You get the spike up. We couldn't push any lower, and now we're holding highs, holding, 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 holding here. What I'm seeing here is, is the inability to trade below the prior daily candles low. So we're above, 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 above. Got close, still above here. Eyeing longs over 99.50 for that trade up into that 104.65 region overhead. Looking strong, potential for this one again into 104.65, 105, and potential up into this 106 area pivot above. I hope this video helps you guys kickstart your 2024 trading. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let us know down below also what you guys are watching. Hope you guys enjoy and have a great weekend.